what up what up guys I'm sure you guys are good it's good to be back on the channel welcome back to unconventional designs um today i'm bringing you another new trick that will make you work faster while designing a mobile application on figma yeah so stick with me to the end to enjoy this thank you all right so today um i represent a mobile application dashboard screen that um we'll be using as an illustration today to show you how to create a proper navigation menu on the figma yep so um if you want to know how to create rows and columns on figma i created a video um on that that talks about how to use grid lines and um columns and rows yeah so you can you can check that on my channel yeah so having said that let's go straight into the navigation menu here on figma all right cool so the first thing you do is create a frame a frame and um give it a certain height a certain height of maybe a 65 there about depending on how big you want it to be so you make sure that you're using the same column as the one that exists currently on your mobile frame when you copy and paste that you have this guy so then another thing you like to do is i'm putting this guy outside currently because we're just trying to get um all of our um icons together so now i'm going to go through this let's assume but we're not using the actual navigations currently i'm just assuming that we have all of these navigation so i'll bring up some icons to just for teaching you guys currently so i'm beginning on these icons so we need um home we need the active state and the inactive state so um, you get bored of this guy also yeah so then we have um, we need transactions yeah let's see pop, 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 pop. let's see yeah transactions mm, that looks like documents but let's see transactions then um then we need maybe um card yeah let's see card let's say wallet or something let's say wallet yeah wallet so let's see wallet then let's say yeah the active and inactive wallet also then let's say profile yeah so we need profile yeah cool 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 all right so we have all of this set as one and pack them together yeah cool so honey you surprised of what i did it's just um is not only how to assemble all of those guys together all right so um now the first thing we do is our grid line already give us a proper layout on how to, so the first thing you do is for every frame for every icon for every navigation you'll be creating you have to follow these grid lines and create a frame around it then the next thing you do is get out your um your icon the first icon you'll be using so for a mobile application your icon on default should be 24 and you should have it right here then um the next one is 24 then you need the text so the current font i'm using is outfit so let me just take out this guy so i'm using this guy's home and bringing in here so that's like 14 size 14 
okay yes can have that so the color theme is um green which is this guy which is what i'll be using today so let me just sample that and put it in here it's from a current project it wasn't used as a style guide that's why all right so we have that set already so um having said that that's the first thing to do so we already have one um um one icon or one navigation ready and set so one other thing we're going to do is before we even move it in into this guy now we already have this guy as let me give it a few in the background so one other thing we're going to do is we're going to create the um the inactive state which is so what we'll do is before we even do this we we'll make this guy a component we should make this guy a component and also make this guy a component yeah cool so when you make this guy a component you can also you can always swap components and um also when we do this guy you can always adjust whatever you need to adjust so let's say we're using a size 12 for all of my guys yeah, so we're reducing that to a size 12 yeah so now i think we're cool so i have size 12 across board yep cool 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 so like i mentioned we already made this guy component we already made this guy component so the only reason we made the component is that we can be able to use it to um create other variants and we can swap the items instead of um, having to create and create and create so currently we've done that so we can come here and create component set so I create component set like i mentioned earlier if you need to know how to create components or create components from scratch and create boolean properties components as regards input fields anything entirely i buttons i created a video that explains that and currently one of my isv currently on my channel if you would like to learn that it's also available so yeah, having said that this is called home component all we're doing is just to make life easy afterwards because you, you don't want to create a 20 screens a 30 screens and start navigating across each of the navigation zone by one that that's that's not right so one thing you need to do now is you create the home component then the next component is um let's say transaction component so you don't even need to stress you just need to bring out this guy and give it a 24 size then make it a component automatically you can swap it out with this guy right here so automatically it's in here and you can give it the color you need to give it which is this color yep so then you can change your text here to this transactions yep transaction so um then also the same thing for the other guy here the same thing for the other guy here so um yeah so we just need to bring it out and change the text size to this the icon size to that then make a component then swap the component yeah so cool then the same thing for the others um yep so wallet So we center them if it's not centered 
all right cool so now i set so we can rename these guys active wallet help me active wallet all right so now the only thing we just need to do is copy it just like this you can just detach or not detach with it just copy one of them right here wow okay yeah so that's it and so you can just use auto layout to make them properly um done on video so using auto layout you go back to your let's see the margin and cut that you used so you automatically give them a 20 here yeah? so it's set so that's set that way so that you can you can have a proper aligned um aligned container so now right this is one of the best approaches that it helps you to if you have 20 screens if you decide to have 20 screens or you decide to have 1 million screens what this will do for you is that what this will do for you is that it's going to give you this leverage as regards um and push this guy today. yeah it's going to give you leverage as regards what you're doing currently because okay so trying to hold this guy i think the yeah, head this guy's inside here yeah, so yeah so then you can give it a little shadow so when i mean shadow we're going to the minus end of the shadow because that is the kind of shadow you give to navigations then you make sure you reduce this guy to like it's off there about and um give it a soft soft shadow that's almost not seen maybe not blurry but a little spread then blood the spread a bit so that it just looks like it's elevated kind of and um yeah i think that's it really but let me turn off the grids here and let's see what we have Oh, okay can also come so we still need to reduce this guy a bit so that it gives you um, this cool vibe yeah so the spread is much and the blur yeah so the blur effect also so we can give this guy a sort of color a bit yeah so i think that's it really and I think we're set on that so our navigations are ready to go and um yeah so if you maybe duplicate the screen now and have let me copy all of these guys out if you duplicate the screen now and have um, a new page and you like to change this guy to something else The only thing you just need to do oh i didn't label it properly yeah so let me label this guy again i forgot home active home yeah active home and inactive home all right so if you have another page now and you love to do all of these guys what you just need to do is toggle around maybe your transaction is supposed to be active on this page that's what you need to do just toggle it and if you maybe put it that you can put it from here so any if he if he comes out of here anywhere anywhere this active is goes back to that page you don't have to like start um saying that this doesn't go here any anytime you click on this active um component of this home it goes back to your dashboard you understand so that's how to create so that's it so thank you for sticking to this time 
really appreciate your your contribution actually even though i'm helping you you're also helping me in a way so share subscribe um turn on your notification for my for new videos and i promise not to disappoint you guys and i will always give you guys one of the best content ever as you guys design everything you need about figma everything you need to know in figma or about figma i'm here for you thanks